Hello everyone, today I'm going to do a new full face first impression, trying a whole lot of new stuff that I've been seeing recently and just stuff I haven't tried yet and you know the drill. So I'm going to get started, I'm going to try the Ola Henriksen, hopefully I pronounce it okay, Banana Bright Face Primer. This has got vitamin C and banana powder inspired pigments. Sounds very interesting, it's like a light kind of banana-y colour, doesn't smell like banana though. Ooh. It's super moisturizing. Maybe it does kind of smell like banana-ish. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm imagining it. Oh, I love the glow it gives. It's not like a shiny or shimmery primer, but it gives you such a beautiful glow all over. Look at that. I really like that look. And it feels amazing. It's soaking in really well. It just feels like a moisturizer more than anything. I feel like you could use this alone as well. Like you don't have to put makeup on top of that. That's such a beautiful finish. I'm obsessed with how my skin looks with that on. For my foundation, I'm going to test out one of these BT21 VT. It's so many letters, numbers, letters. One of the ones I didn't try in my BTS VT tutorial review. <laughs> I'll list it below. Oh my gosh, that's just really confusing. I got sent all these stick foundations too and I haven't tried them yet. So, which color? I've got a bit of fake tan on right now. So I feel like I need something a little bit darker. What's this like undertone like? This is the shade 23. It's 21 which is like quite a bit paler. But we have 22, maybe this will be okay. I feel like that's a bit better undertone wise, it's less orange. So yeah, shade 22 and this is Mang. Is that a horse mask? Creepy horse mask serial killer. I'm just gonna draw all over. And this actually comes with a little brush on the other end, but just not into that. Very handy for like travel or like in your purse or whatever, but I'm just gonna use a sponge because I've already wet it and I just feel like you're gonna get a better result with a sponge. <laughs> All right, so we're not really getting any streaks, which is a good start. And I feel like the color is actually not too bad. Really nice finish, or maybe it's just the primer underneath, but whatever it is, like I like the way my skin is glowing right now. It was actually very easy to blend. I'm just gonna do another like smaller kind of layer just where I want more coverage. So mostly on my cheeks. Like my forehead looks pretty good. I'd say the coverage is like a light to medium. It's not really that buildable by the like, looks of it really. So I might just use my concealer to get extra coverage today. I think this is like nice just for a kind of natural look. You know, it's not too heavy. It's a good everyday look and it's quick and easy to use. I'm not blown away, but it's not bad whatsoever. And the packaging is super cute. I like this one the best. I'm not usually drawn towards um, stick foundations that much anyway. Let's try a new concealer that I haven't tried yet. I forgot that I got sent these like probably two or three months ago. So it's like not a super new product or anything. But these are the Smashbox concealers. They come in, oh my god, like a jillion different shades. Ooh, and there's an extra one in the bottom. These are by Smashbox. What kind of color are we going to go for? It's the 24 hour concealer studio skin flaws. I love the studio skin foundation. It's actually really, really nice. So there's so many different undertones as well. Might do this light golden color, medium warm olive. Like I don't really know what color I should be going for. No, that's too olive. That's like hourglass color. This one's light, medium warm. It's even a little bit too dark, but I do need to like darken my face ever so slightly. I'm just gonna like blend this out on my face face. It comes with this nice little like spongy doe foot applicator. So I'm just gonna put that on my cheeks and just a little bit around my nose and where I've got like some redness. And then under my eyes actually I'm gonna go with the shade light neutral. I feel like that sounds safe. Yeah that's good. That looks so orange. I have regrets. Is there a medium neutral shade? I feel like there's no neutral. It's like cool, warm, warm, olive. All these different colors which I just don't think they're gonna match me. This is so good. I have so many regrets right now. It's not even, I don't really like the finish that much. I feel like it oxidized so much. I'm already not getting good vibes from this um, concealer. Like the foundation version of this, you know, studio, whatever it's called by Smashbox, the foundation I really like. I've used it in tutorials before, like I used it at New Year's and stuff, but like I'm not getting good vibes from this concealer. It seems to be changing color very rapidly and it just looks meh. Like it doesn't look special at all. I feel like I've just gone bright orange. Like it's got darker and darker and it still looks like it's getting darker and darker. On camera it doesn't look as bad as in real life. I think it's just like really bright. Like you can see I'm saying you get these like patches. I'm not stoked. I'm gonna actually like take my foundation stick again and just, this is probably just gonna make me look so cakey but honestly I can't deal with that. Honestly I just don't think I can save this unless I remove it and start over. Even like under my eyes look, they're so dark still. Like it just looks so average. 
coverage. Has anyone else tried that concealer? Like, did it work for you? Did it not? I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but it just doesn't look good. Do I have to go like a Jillian shades lighter? I'm gonna take some more under my eyes, the light neutral shade, and just see if I can like conceal these dark circles because that did nothing before. The formula just feels very like thin, like which is nice if you don't want a heavy concealer, but at the same time, I feel like it's barely covering. I'm using so much product, like I feel like it's just gonna crease now. I just still look kind of dull. Like it does look really smooth, I'll give it that. Like it looks really, really like, yeah, soft looking almost. I don't know, I don't know about that. I don't think I'm gonna keep that. Like I just, I can't imagine myself reaching for that at all over my other favorites. Okay, I don't think I have any new under eye setting powders, so I'm just gonna use what I have. They need to set this, otherwise I can just see it turning into a creasy mess. <laughs> I'm just like inhaling this right now, wow. Not a good time. All right guys, hopefully that will stop any creases. <laughs> there is a butt ton of powder right here. Okay, now for my face, I've got a new one that I'm really excited to try. I'm gonna use this powder in shade medium. So this looks beautiful, this packaging, the actual powder itself, look at this. It's got a really cute little monogram all over it. It's by Jouer, and this is in the shade light. It is the Soft Focus Hydrate and Set Powder, which sounds amazing. Hydration, setting, everything, you know? So I'm gonna use this shade medium with a powder brush. And it looks like it does have a bit of coverage to it. So hopefully I don't go even more orange right now. I'm just bringing it down my neck straight away because I'm like very nervous. Okay, well, I I can't really tell where I'm putting it, so that's a good start. Like, it's obviously not a terrible color. I'm just gonna blend that around where I put that powder to. I feel like everything on my face right now looks so patchy. Okay, I'm really buffing this in. I like the powder, but I don't think I like the concealer, and I think that's what the problem is here. Like, I can just see a bit of patchiness where I put that concealer as well. But, um, the powder feels nice. Like, it's really lightweight. I can't really feel where I put it at all. And I've still got a really pretty glow to my skin, so I'm definitely gonna keep experimenting with this powder. I've got the lighter shade and the darker shade as well for, like, when I'm super deep fake tanned, although I feel like this will be dark enough for me in the shade light. Like, it's not a super light powder. I also have the shade under it, which is fair, which is probably too dark for me, even with like no fake tan on. So they don't go super light, but they've got some deeper shades, which is nice. Ah, everything feels really set. I feel like we pulled it together though. Like I don't think my skin looks terrible, but I can still see like, I don't know, like even with all of that concealer, you'd still see my redness of it. Like not, I'm not a fan of that. Okay, moving right along. Hopefully the rest goes better than the concealer. So I have this little quad kit from Makeup Geek. And I think I might've received this in the past. I can't remember if I've ever used it, but I'm pretending like this is the first impression because I can't remember like anything about it. It's the Fair Lady Face Palette, Flawless Leave After. We've got like a highlighter shade, a blush, a contour, and a highlight, like a couple of blushes, I don't know. I'm going to take this bronzer brush with the contour shade, and I'm going to use this to contour my cheekbones. I love Makeup Geek, it's a brand. I think it's a really good, more affordable kind of brand. They've got really good eyeshadows and stuff. It's a really good color, actually. I was a bit worried at it just looking at it, I don't know why, but it looks really nice. I'm gonna put it down my nose as well, and also, on my temples. It's so weird because my skin looks like natural but flawless at the same time. Like it does look kind of good but I don't know, just like patchy. <laughs> I'm gonna just go straight ahead and use the blush as well. I think I'm gonna try a different highlighter though. So I'm gonna use it on a medium face brush. We'll use the warm kind of peach because I feel like that's a really nice color for most skin tones. Oh, that's very bright and pigmented. Holy crap, whoops. All right, it's blending out good though. Can my hair get out of it? <laughs> You're gonna need a very small amount of this blush. Like, I'm warning you. I do love a good blush moment right now. Like, you guys know I'm getting right back into my blushes. So, I think it's a really pretty color. Let's go straight into our highlighter because I'm just kind of excited about it. I've got these new ones by Beauty Bay. These are the Galaxy Glows. Wait, no. This one's called Galaxy Glow. This one's called Sunbeam Surprise. They're like a loose highlighter. Oh, it's a cream. Oh my god, I thought it was like a loose highlighter. Just kidding. Okay. I'm gonna take a little bit of this one, which is called Sunbeam Surprise. I have fluff up my nostril. I'm not peeing my nose, but oh, that's irritating. Okay, yeah, it's like a jelly highlighter, like, you know, the Fisali one. I'm gonna take it with my little petal brush. Ooh, it's really bright. Okay, I'm gonna place it with this and then use my sponge. If I can find it, there it is. Okay, so. Oh god, it's sticking to the powder. <laughs> Oh no. Okay, I'm just gonna like scrub at my face with my brush because I can't blend it with my sponge. It's like sticking to the powder. I think you need to use this before you do your powder because it's stuck and not blending at all. I feel like the Fasali one, like you can put it on top of your powder and it still will blend. But this one doesn't. <laughs> oh my god. And now that I've like scrubbed it, it just kind of is like going quite matte looking. Like it's not as shiny as it is when you just apply a little bit. Like 
let's apply some to my hand which obviously has no powder on it like that looks a lot prettier but it's it's even quite chunky though like it doesn't really blend seamlessly like it's got a very visible edge if you know what i mean maybe even under your foundation on your cheekbone and then put your foundation on top <laughs> This is not a good look. This is one of those first impressions where a lot of stuff is ending up questionable. We're gonna go into the highlighter that comes with the Makeup Geek and I'm using it on a detail face brush because this will just like kind of pack it on and blend it out nicely and I'm hoping we can kind of even out this jelly highlighter. I mean it's much better. This is actually a very nice formula of highlighter. It's a very lit from, lit from within kind of formula. It's not super chunky or anything. Like It's very 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 smooth and just shiny which is like one of my favorite types of highlighters like you guys already know. So I'm just really like kind of blending that in really nicely to try and cover up all the patchiness. Thanks. A little bit on my little nose and up the bridge a little bit because I really like that look. Yeah I really like this highlighter. This is really pretty and I was kind of confused of the color at first because I didn't really know what it would look like on my skin but it actually looks really pretty and it doesn't look like a big stripe like it blends in with my skin tone really well. And I feel like you could use this highlighter with like cool tone looks or warm looks because it's yeah it's not too obviously like one way or the other if you know what I mean. I like this palette. I think it's nice. You can just kind of see like this big cakey spot right here where I've got the other one underneath, which is not ideal. Why me? Why me? I don't think I have any yet new eyebrow products. Okay, my eyebrows are on. So I've got this Priming is Everything Eyelid Primer by The Balm. So I'm going to try this on my eyelids. I might actually just use my finger. So it just feels like a kind of paint pot consistency. And it's not really sticky or anything, it just feels quite balmy. It's giving me a little bit of coverage, but I've already got pretty, you know, a lot of products all over my eyelids, as it is. And then because I haven't tried any new, like, the balm products in so long, I've also got these Picture Perfect, which, by the way, look at the packaging they came in. Like, this little car, and it says, like, pop the trunk. How good is that packaging? Um, but there's some new little eyeshadow palettes and face palettes and stuff, so I'm going to try this one. This is the Pick Perf. Shadows on the go auto balm and it's the yellow tinned one and this is how it looks on the inside it's such cute packaging this is how it looks up close so i'm gonna try oh look it's got a primer in it too so i didn't really have to use the separate one but oh well these colors are so random though i'm just gonna like that's the face palette i think i think this is yeah this is like a face palette it's got like blushes and stuff and then this one is oh look this one's probably a better color combination this is day to night it's got a black primer in it and then these the color i think i'll use this one because i feel like they're just better colors for today i don't want to go too crazy so i'm starting with this shade called hollywood which looks like this and i'm going to pop that straight in to my crease Oh, it's blending so good. That's so pigmented. Very, very easy to work with. And the primer is very, very easy to blend on top of as well. Like, there's no issues there, so it's good. I love the undertone of this eyeshadow too. It's just like the perfect everyday color. So, yeah, you could definitely use it day or night. I haven't used the balm eyeshadows in a very long time. I don't know why. Like, they just don't usually appeal to me that much, and I don't even know why. Um, I think it's because, like, their palette's always really randomly themed, which I don't know. Like, it's, it shouldn't really put me off, and it doesn't really put me off. Also, it doesn't, like, excite me a lot. I don't know. What do you guys think? So I'm just running that underneath as well. And I'm going to take an eyeshadow brush with this Medicine Ave, which is like a beautiful bronze. I'm just keeping it very simple today. So I'm taking that and I'm just going to press that on my eyelid. This is very pretty as well. It's actually very shimmery. It's just a really nice bronzy, kind of like bronzy goldy color. I'm just going to go back in with that brush I used before and I'm going to take a little bit more of Hollywood Boulevard. These are the only two matte shades, these ones. So you just kind of have to like work with this color for whatever look you're doing if you're just going to use the one palette. I wish there was like another darker color, but that's all right, I guess. Like, mm, nah, I don't know. I'm going to take a little bit of this Beacon Street, which is like a duochrome lavender kind of shade. And I'm just going to pop that right on my inner corner. This is such a random shade. Like, <laughs> maybe used in conjunction with like the blue would be prettier or like as a top coat. It's not a very pigmented color. It's very like iridescent. I'm going to take a little bit of Lombard Street which is the darkest shimmery shade and ooh, does it want to focus? This one right here. I'm just going to run that underneath the outer corner. Oh that's such a nice color. This is super pigmented and I'm also going to take this along my lash line as well. You could let this step out if you wanted it to be more wearable for like daytime like this would be like your day to night like add a bit of this along the lash line just to really smoke everything out through the lighting is just getting so strong i'm taking the same color on my blender brush 
I actually quite like this palette. Like some of the colors are a little bit random, but like it's also kind of fun and it's forcing me to do something different because like the colors are just a bit different you know, to other palettes I have. I quite liked that other one too. Like, not for today, but I liked the colours. The Pick Perf. Like, the khaki and stuff in it looked real cool. This shade here. And actually that shade there is so nice. So, I could have actually probably, like, created a look with that today. But, oh well. So, I'm just, yeah, blending that out and just doing something a bit smoky. Not being too careful. Like, I just want it to look quite smouldery almost. I feel like this is getting more and more dramatic by the minute. I'm going back in with the matte shade and just deepening the crease once again. So, probably, like, that inner corner is my least favourite. I feel like it would be better as a top coat or on top of that, like, base that they have in the palette. The dark palette. I mean, the, the dark base. Here comes the sun. <laughs> like maybe on top of this to really make it pop or like on top of a different color. I just don't like it by itself really. So next I'm going to try a new eyeliner. This is the Marc Jacobs Stiletto or Stiletto Fine Liner Ultra Skinny Gel Eye Crayon and it's a little wind up number like this. I thought it was a blue but it's like a grayish yeah steel color silvery kind of color. It's gonna look a bit weird isn't it but oh well we're just gonna roll with it. It actually goes on real nice. Look at that. Like super pigmented, super smooth. You can get a lot of detail with it. Okay, I'm just gonna go for it. Let's go for this color. It actually is a little bit blue, which I like. Like for something a bit different. Now I also have a eye primer. No, an eyelash primer by Marc Jacobs as well, which I really want to try. Now I don't usually like white eye little, little mascara primers. Oh my god, I'm getting so confused. I do really like a CoverGirl one that's white. So Marc Jacobs have done a white one as well, and it goes with their Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara, which I love. You guys have seen me use this a lot in my videos. This is the CoverGirl lash primer I'm talking about. This is actually really good. I've used it in a few live streams and stuff in the past. It makes your lashes so thick, but the only thing with white eye primers is sometimes you can get that kind of like faded look or like grey look to your eyelashes because oh look it's like a nude that's so weird but we're gonna give it a go so it's got like the same brush I believe as the Velvet Noir mascara which we'll put on top of this because obviously it's made to be used together but you don't have to use the same one oh already it gives me a lot of volume I feel like it's making my lashes very fluffy I'm not hating it well I mean I haven't even put my my, my mascara on top of it yet but do you guys see what I mean it's quite full-on Ooh, okay, let's see how it looks with the mascara on top. Imagine if I just left it like this. Like, hey everyone, here's my look. It's so on, on trend. So I had two of this mascara on the go for whatever reason. So I'll use one of these. One of them's got my name on it. This one's got my name on it, which, oh wait, they both do. Is one of them like more dried out? No, they're still pretty good. Okay, I've just, I've just got two. So I'm just going to wiggle that on top. I can feel quite a bit of resistance against the lash primer. Like it feels not stiff, but like it feels thick. I'm going on top of it, I can like, you know, feel it. So I'm just gonna do lots and lots of skinny motion, skinny motions. I don't know what that means. Lots and lots of little motions just to wiggle the mascara right on top of that primer. This is a little bit difficult. Oh God, I'm getting a little bit of clumpiness. And I feel like it's kind of hard to cover up the primer perfectly. Like you can still see a little bit of the nude. I wish they did it dark like what Benefit does. Benefit does like the tinted primer that's a dark brown and it's so beautiful. Like why don't more companies do dark brown so that it's easier to cover? I'm really struggling to like get into the root of the lash and you can see where I've put the primer because it is so pale. And I feel like this is just getting very messy and very very thick. Did I put on too much primer? What did I do wrong? It saved me a long time to like get the mascara on top. You do get like very thick lashes from this. I just don't know if I could be bothered doing that every day. Um, I feel like it's a lot of maintenance, but it does look okay once I've got it on. It is definitely a bit clumpy, but I guess like that might be the look you're going for. If you're using a primer, like you want thick lashes and it's, it's definitely giving you thick, thick lashes. Yeah, that's what my upper lashes look like. Do you guys reckon it looks better or like, would you just skip that step? I definitely think like they look pretty good. Like it does look like I've got huge lashes. I'm going to go in with another mascara on top. This isn't one I've never tried either. This is the Inoka vegan long lash just to see if this will help like separate a little bit and I'll also use this on my lower lashes. I've got this like massive clump right in the middle. Just using a q-tip to try and like spread my lashes out a little bit. Yeah I guess it just depends what look you're going for like I don't know you guys vote below like what do you think? 
yes or no. I love the mascaras, but I just don't know about the primer. I'm not going to use any um, lashes today. I'm just going to go with that, and now let's finish with the lips. I might try on this from Ofra. So this is a new formula. It's called the Flexi Slick. So it's meant to be like a lip gloss that lasts, like a liquid lipstick or something. So this shade here is called Stretch, and I just love the look of it. How's my skin looking now? See, look. It looks so kind of patchy and like it doesn't even have good coverage right here. Like where I put my contour, like just not a fan of the concealer combo today. Anyways, I'm not going to use anything under it. We'll just see what it looks like. Yeah, okay. Oh, and it's not sticky. It smells amazing. And it almost just feels like a lip balm or like a lip oil or something. I actually quite like that formula. I really like the colour too. I feel like you could still just like pop this on top of a lip pencil or a lipstick. But that's how it looks alone. It's really comfortable. There's no stickiness. The smell is very strong. Like it's very sweet. So if you don't like a strong scent you won't like it. It's like, like I can still smell it even though I'm not applying it anymore. Like it's so rich. But I think it smells good. It's like real sweet. So I don't know. I guess it just depends on your personal preference. And it's just a really beautiful light peach nude. I actually really like this eye makeup now. Now that I'm looking at it in this lighting. I probably could have blended it a bit better, but it's one of those days where I can't be bothered. Okay, I kind of like my lashes now. I really like the finish of my skin too with the primer and the powder. Like, both of them are very, like, glowy products. Like, look at that glow all over my skin, like, forehead, like, everywhere. I can't wait to keep trying out that Jouer powder. Like, I feel like that gave me a really beautiful finish. But it didn't really help to even out the patchy concealer or anything. Like, I don't think it has a lot of coverage. It has a little tint of coverage, but it's nothing crazy like Max Studio Fix powder and stuff like that where it can actually, like, give you that full coverage. Like, I don't think it really does that. Okay, I'm gonna go do my hair. I'll be right back okay so here is everything done now the gloss you know after leaving it five minutes or so it definitely feels a little bit more tacky now that it's kind of like dried down it's not sticky it's just a bit thicker almost like it's thickened up but I feel like it might be because it's set so it you know stays put because it's supposed to stay put like a long lasting liquid lipstick or something like that I like the primer a lot actually like that made my skin feel real good so there's definitely a mixture of things, like I like the eyeliner, I like the eyeshadow palette, it's a little bit of a random colour combination, but I do actually quite like it still, like I like this look I created. And they're not bad quality at all, like they're pretty good quality. And I love the glow to my skin. I'm just going to finish off with a little bit of the VT BTS Super Tempting Face Fix. I actually really like this, I've used it a lot since I filmed that video. It just makes everything last and look super glowy, even glowier than my skin already is. So yeah, I actually really like how it looks now. Like how it's come together. Definitely still look a bit patchy and like random bad coverage areas on my face which is weird but other than that I really like it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if there's any other products you are looking forward to hearing me talk about and I can film that for you and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs>